Well, meantime, here at home, a rally was held this afternoon at Portland State University in support of the people of Palestine. Several people showed up with posters and signs as they marched around campus, and some Jewish Americans are speaking out against the assault on Gaza as well, demanding a ceasefire. Fox 12's Connor McCarthy spoke with a local nurse to tell us why she is against the war. Earlier today, more than 100 people gathered outside of Congressman Earl Blumenauer's office here in Northeast Portland, rallying for a ceasefire in this war in the Middle East. Now, the United Nations has declared a humanitarian catastrophe in Gaza because of the bombings. Now, I did speak to one Jewish pediatrician who's been to Gaza, and she says she's seen it firsthand. Jewish Portlanders spent Thursday rallying, demanding Israel declare a ceasefire. Maxine Fuchsen was one of those in the crowd making those demands. And as a Jewish American, it needs to be said this is not in the name of America's Jews. This is not something that we stand for. This is not a Jewish value. A Jewish value is our collective humanity. Fuchsen and her friend Asma Taha are both pediatric nurses who have made humanitarian trips to Gaza. Fuchsen's last trip was in 2014. And what's so heartbreaking is that this is a population. The people of Gaza are very well educated. There's an amazing amount of potential. She gave a lecture to nursing students at a local university in Gaza and took this picture of the students. You can see most are women. What the doctors, nurses in Gaza always say is we're always on the starting line and we're just not able to get that start. She's also seen the destruction in Gaza. This picture shows a school that was reduced to rubble. So you see people who are going through the rubble looking for some little piece of their family, of their past life, trying to put something back together in lives. Taha, who's also Palestinian, says when she visits Gaza, she hears about the emotional trauma many children experience on a daily basis. Here in the U.S., we talk about vicarious trauma. We talk about um, trauma-informed care. Like, there is none of this um, among those Palestinian children. She was supposed to go on another humanitarian mission through the Palestinian Children Relief Fund this fall, but that changed with the war. She says two doctors in her organization are stuck in Gaza with no way out as bombs continue to fall. The biggest thing that I struggle with is this basically the survival guilt. Like, you know, we are here, we are able to eat, we are able to go to work, we are able to open our closets and find the clothes to wear. Those people kind of have to leave their homes with nothing. Fuxin and Taha want President Biden to do more to help the humanitarian crisis that is unfolding in Gaza and to do more to protect innocent civilians. Any way you look at it, it's awful. We should not be allowing this to happen. In today's world, we should not allow it. This is an absolute humanitarian catastrophe, and right now the bombing, the siege needs to stop. Humanitarian aid needs to be allowed to come in. Now, that rally lasted for about an hour, but there was one counter-protester across the street. She held a sign that said, no ceasefire until Hamas ceases to exist. In Northeast Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12, Oregon.